Oh, yeah. Everybody is going through my shield now. Love it. Okay, so now I got to deal with this hurricane. Oh, there she is. Okay, let's slow it down here. Contrary to popular belief, I don't want to fight the hurricane in atmosphere. That would be really silly. Get really close to him. Mm, yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead here. Too much energy. Nice if my gun's charged. God, unbelievable, bro. Now my guns want to charge. I'm going to start from scratch here. Too far. Just wasting my shots. Yeah. It's a Hail Mary pass if I ever saw it. Nope, nope, nope. Too much energy. So this, this is the problem with the mediums too, right? So I gotta get my shield back up because I couldn't get the range. I could get the range if I kept pushing, but you'll end up uh, in a bad spot here. So he's got lots of speed here.
that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Look how many bullets I have left. 12 fucking rounds. All right, welcome back everybody to another video. So today I kind of want to just talk about um, how to take on the beast, you know. And when I say how to take on the beast, I am talking about the Anvil Hurricane. Um, currently in 316, um, the Anvil Hurricane is, for lack of a better word, um, the true undisputed king of PvP. Uh, when you put this thing with a gunner, <laughs> it's uh, ludicrously powerful. Uh, so I had a couple opportunities to fight some Hurricanes in the Persistent Universe recently, and uh, I just kind of want to break down how I was successful versus this absolute monster. And there's truly two ways to understand how to engage the hurricane. Um, uh, sorry about my voice. Uh, it is super late, guys, but I really wanted to get these recorded uh, since I'm working tomorrow. But, I mean, the long story short, the, how you engage the hurricane is essentially how you engage other light fighters. However, you have to make the conscious effort to become... Uh, what I can only describe as the most hyper aggressive type of playstyle uh, in order to survive. Um, as soon as you get to within 200 meters, um, you know you've got to get as physically close as you possibly can, because if you don't get close enough, what's going to end up happening is the hurricane's going to reduce a little bit of range on you. Its turret gunner is going to get on you. And that 20 degree auto gimbal zone is going to shred you to pieces. Absolutely shred you to pieces. You can see on this fight here with the Hornet, I ended up getting a little bit too far away. Um, and because I got too far away, my shields were down and I didn't even have a good firing solution. And so my decision at the time was to disengage entirely. Um, the only chance I have to beat this hurricane is to pre-nose, get within the closest range I possibly can, and then do a small corkscrew maneuver to try and avoid some incoming damage while applying basically all of my shots. I can't stress enough, I cannot stress enough, that once you close to within point-blank range against a hurricane, you are on borrowed time, and you cannot miss. If you miss and you lose your applied damage, you simply won't apply enough damage to get the kill. Contrary to popular belief and what the Hurricane was originally billed for or billed as uh, a glass cannon, you know, a ship that doesn't take too many hits, but can dish out a tremendous amount of firepower. The Hurricane is a very tough ship. So here we go. Here's the pre -nose. I'm within 300 meters and I'm continuing to aggressively close the distance. As soon as I reach that 500 meter mark, see my shields went down. I'm now I'm now receiving hits. But again, what I say before is keep on aggressively closing the distance and don't miss a single round if you can. If you can do those two things, you can get the kill. I will be honest. I do not recommend that you take on a hurricane solo. Um, the uh, the skill gap between uh, being able to effectively kill a hurricane solo um, is very, 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 very high. Um, with the speed, agility of the hurricane, and just the uh, you know the ludicrous level of auto gimbal on the turret, uh, makes fighting the hurricane almost certain death for any uh, a amateur or even intermediate pilot. If you're gonna take a hurricane on, the safe bet is to do it as a team. Um, you saw from yesterday's video that two arrows, two arrows working together in tandem uh, were able to take on three Hurricanes fully crewed. Um, so that's pretty incredible. Um, but it just goes to show how important the communication is between pilots uh, and kind of switching between targets on and off, right? But if you are going to take on a Hurricane solo, if you are a crazy man like me and you want to know how to do it, Remember that there's two ways to do it. Either stay far away from this thing and try to plug at it, but probably not going to be successful, but it's at least better than staying at minimum range, which is what he wants you to be at. And the other option is to get essentially point blank range. Make it as difficult as that turret gunner can to get his shots on you at point blank range. 
and just make sure you don't miss. If you can do those two things, you might have a chance. All right, guys, that's it for today. Pretty, pretty cool video. Uh, I don't recommend you take on any hurricanes solo, but like I said, if you are going to do it, follow these steps. Again, guys, follow your fundamentals. Work on the basics. Work on returning to center. Work on your S patterns. Work on your corkscrews. Work on your roll aim. Work on all the fundamentals before you start taking on hurricanes solo. Uh, take a look at Predator Mounts, guys, if you're interested in getting a mounting system for your joystick. They're the ones I use. I find them to be absolutely fantastic. I hope to see all you uh, guys out for stream. We do it almost every day. It's, it's always a lot of fun. Uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody who has supported the channel and everybody here on YouTube. Guys, you truly, truly do make this whole process worth it. So thank you so much. I hope the rest of you guys have a great day. I hope to see you guys all out. And I'll see you folks in the next video. I was Avenger 1, and I'll see you next time.